Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve three interesting examples based on operations on signals. In my last video, I have explained all the rules based on operations on signals. In this video, I will solve three questions. Before I start with my solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later, you can check for the solution in this video itself. So this is question number one. Freeze the video and try it by your own. This is question number two. Freeze the video and try it by your own. And this is second part of question number two. Freeze the video and try it by your own. And this is last question of this video. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I will explain solution of question number one. See in question one, we have signal x of t and we need to perform operation a, b and c. If you observe operation A, so that is 2 into x of t. 2 into x of t means amplitude scaling operation. So here I will perform 2 into x of t means amplitude scaling operation. See in amplitude scaling operation, only amplitude of this x of t that will change. And that will change as per the factor 2. So here we have amplitude 1. So that will be now. 2 and here we have amplitude 2 that will be now 4 and here we have time component so time component that will be as it is that will be minus 2 and plus 2 now we need to plot the signal see shape wise signal will be as it is so here we will be having signal that is 2 times of x of t now I will explain you second operation that is x of 2t x of 2t means what x of 2t means here we are performing compression with respect to time here we are performing time scaling and that is time compression and that compression happens by scale factor 2 so if you observe here we have x of 2t where we perform time scaling in time scaling here we have time minus 2 in compression, you need to divide this time by 2. So minus 2 divided by 2, that will be minus 1. Here we have plus 2. Plus 2 divided by 2, that will be plus 1. Here amplitude will remain as it is. So we have amplitude 1 and 2. Now we need to plot the signal. Shape wise, signal will be this only. So this is how we can perform time scaling operation as per compression of signal. Now I will explain x of t by 2. Here also we perform time scaling operation and this operation is expansion of signal. Right. So here we will be performing time scaling operation. Now in this time scaling operation here we will be expanding this signal. So here we will be expanding this signal by scale factor 2. Here we have minus 2. So on time axis minus 2 into 2 that will be minus 4. Here we have plus 2. On time axis it will be plus 2 into 2 that will be plus 4. Here amplitude that will remain as it is in time scaling. So amplitude over here that is plus 1 and over here that is plus 2. Shape wise signal will be as it is over here. Let me plot it. So this is how we can perform time scaling and amplitude scaling right now i will explain second problem this second question is based on discrete signal here we have been given with discrete signal x of n you can observe over here we need to perform operation a b c d and e operation a that is x of n minus 3 x of n minus 3 means here we have delayed signal so this x of n minus 3 that is delayed signal. Delayed signal means we need to shift given signal in this direction by three elements. So if you shift this signal in this direction by three elements, then this first element that is there at n is equals to 3. Now this element that will come to n is equals to 6. So here we have first element that is there at n is equals to 6. After that, we need to plot this signal. 
सो आफ्टर दैट वी हैव एलिमेंट विद मैग्नीट्यूड वन देन अगेन वी हैव एलिमेंट विद मैग्नीट्यूड वन देन अगेन वी हैव एलिमेंट विद मैग्नीट्यूड वन एंड देन वी हैव एलिमेंट विद मैग्नीट्यूड टू बाई थ्री एंड देन वी हैव एलिमेंट विद मैग्नीट्यूड वन बाई थ्री राइट सो दैट इज अव वी परफॉर्म डिले ऑपरेशन नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन सेकेंड ऑपरेशन दैट इज एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस टू सी एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस टू मीन्स हियर वी हैव एडवांस्ड सिग्नल सो एक्स ऑफ एन प्लस टू दैट इज एडवांस्ड सिग्नल एडवांस्ड सिग्नल मीन्स वॉट हियर वी नीड टू सिफ्ट गिवन सिग्नल इन दिस डिरेक्शन एंड दैट वी नीड टू सिफ्ट बाई टू एलिमेंट्स सो हियर वी हैव दिस सिग्नल दैट वी नीड टू सिफ्ट इन दिस डिरेक्शन बाई टू एलिमेंट्स सो दिस इज फर्स्ट सिग्नल दैट इज देर एट एन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू नाउ दैट विल कम टू एन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर सो एट माइनस फोर हियर वी हैव वन बाय थ्री देन दिस टू बाय थ्री दैट विल बी देर एट माइनस थ्री and then we have four elements with magnitude 1 so that i need to plot over here you can observe so this is how we can perform advanced signal operation right now this third operation that is x of minus n x of minus n means here we will be performing folding operation when you perform folding operation at that time you need to generate mirror image of this given signal so in mirror image if you observe here we have 1 by 3 at n is equals to minus 2 now that will be appearing at n is equals to plus 2 right here we have 2 by 3 at n is equals to minus 1 that will appear at n is equals to plus 1 here we have reference so reference will remain as it is so at reference we have magnitude 1 and then we have three elements with magnitude 1 now that will be appearing over this side right so this is how we can perform folding operation so in folding operation what we do is we generate mirror image of given signal right now i will explain you folding and shifting so if you observe here we have x of minus n plus 1 so as and when you have x of minus n plus or minus something at that time you need to see folded signal right so here i have already done folding operation so with this we need to perform x of minus n plus 1 now in x of minus n plus 1 what we need to do is here we have plus 1 as we have plus 1 over here we need to shift given folded signal in this direction so we need to shift this x of minus n in this direction by one element so if you observe here we have x of minus n that we need to shift in this direction by one element so this first element that is there at n is equals to 2 now that will appear at n is equals to 3 so 1 by 3 now that will be there at n is equals to 3 then after we have 2 by 3 over here then after we have four elements with magnitude 1 so that i am placing over here you can observe we have four elements with magnitude 1 right so this is how we can perform folding and shifting now if you observe operation e so that is x of minus n minus 2 so if you have x of minus n minus 2 then you need to see reference that is x of minus n now with x of minus n if you have Minus two over here. Then we need to shift this x of minus n in this direction, and that we need to shift by two elements. If you shift x of minus n in this direction by two elements, then here you can observe we have this element that is there at minus three. Now that will go at minus pi. So here this plus one that will be there at minus pi. then after we have another three elements that is having value plus 1 right after that here we have 2 by 3 so here we have 2 by 3 and then we have 1 by 3 so now 1 by 3 that will be appearing over here right so this is how we can perform folding and shifting operation right 
Now I will explain you four more operations that is based on multiplication, right? Now here we have x of n into delta of n minus 3, right? So first of all, you need to understand what is x of n. So x of n is this, right? Into delta of n minus 3 that we need to perform. See delta of n minus 3 that will be having impulse with magnitude 1 at n is equals to 3 over here, right? So if you multiply impulse with this signal, then that will be this signal only. So x of n into delta of n minus 3 that will be having impulse at this instant only, right? And at this instant, this element is having magnitude 1 into impulse magnitude 1. So that will be 1 only, right? Now I will perform x of minus n into delta of n plus 1. So here we need to see how x of minus n is there with us. So x of minus n, that is this signal, right? And with this x of minus n, delta of n plus 1 that we need to do. So delta of n plus 1 means what? Delta of n plus 1 means this element where we have impulse. So impulse with magnitude 1 over here into this. That will be 1 at n is equals to minus 1. So here we need to have impulse at n is equals to minus 1 with magnitude 1. Right. Now we need to perform x of n into u of n. So one should know what is u of n. See u of n that is having impulse 1 at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right. So if you multiply this x of n with unit step signal, then from 0 onwards, we have value 1 over here. So 1 into this that we need to perform. So if you multiply x of n into u of n, then this element that will be appearing over here. After that, this element that will appear over here. After that, this element that will appear over here. After that, this element that will appear over here. Right. Now we don't have any elements. So multiplication of 0 with anything that will be 0 over here. Right. Now we need to perform x of minus n into u of n plus 1. See, this is quite interesting. Here you need to understand how x of minus n is there. So x of minus n, that is this. Right. And with this, we need to multiply u of n plus 1. So u of n plus 1, that is having unit signal with impulse over here, here, here and so on. So multiplication of this signal with given x of minus n that will be having this many elements only, right? So that is what I need to copy in this multiplication. So here our answer that will be having amplitude 1 over here, then 1 over here, then 2 by 3 over here and 1 by 3 over here. Right. So that is how we perform multiplication operation. Now I will explain last problem of this video. See this last problem that is based on sequence representation. So here in sequence you can observe we have x of n with reference over here. And first of all we need to perform x of n minus 3. See as and when you want to perform x of n minus 3 then what we do? Here we perform delay in signal. So as if you perform delay in signal, then signal is shifted in forward direction. Then reference is shifted towards backward direction. So here, first of all, you need to write down this sequence. So we have 5, 1, 2, 3 and 1. That is how we have a sequence, right? And if you observe this sequence that is having reference at 2, with n minus 3, we forward the signal by 3 elements means reference is shifted in backward direction by 3 elements. So if you shift this reference by 3 elements in backward direction, then 1, 2 and over here there will be 0. 
so i need to place zero over here and now reference will be available over here right now i will explain you x of n plus 2 see in x of n plus 2 what we do is we perform advanced signal operation in advanced signal we need to shift entire signal in backward direction if you shift entire signal in backward direction then reference is shifted in forward direction so here see reference is shifted by two elements in forward direction so this reference now that will appear at one location so sequence will remain as it is right sequence will remain as it is now we have a reference at location one right now i will explain x of minus n operation see in x of minus n operation we will be performing folding of signal in folding of signal first of all you need to write down given sequence in reverse order so here we have a sequence that we need to write in reverse order so first of all i will write one then three then two then one then five and here reference is there at two so reference will remain as it is it will be there at two only right now i will explain folding and shifting operation so here i will explain x of minus n plus one operation see in x of minus n plus one operation we need to take a reference of x of minus n so first of all you need to write down the sequence as it is so here we have one three two one and five and here we have plus one if it is plus one then this reference that you need to shift in this direction by one element so now reference will be available over here right see here if it is only n plus 2 so in that case what we need to do we need to shift this reference in this direction but if it is after folding then we need to shift reference in opposite direction right now i will explain last operation that is x of minus n minus 2 see in x of minus n minus 2 we need to take a reference of x of minus n so this sequence that will be as it is and after this sequence we need to see how reference is shifted see reference is available over here that we need to shift in this direction due to minus 2 by two elements so now reference that will be there at plus 5 right so that is how we perform shifting operation so in this video i have explained almost all the rules based on operations on signal i hope now you are having very enough idea about how to solve problems based on operations on signal Thank you so much for watching this video.